Hey guys, this is Unpunk bringing you a fantastic new video. So this is going to be what is required to unlock the new Skullbreaker secret character that we just got. If you guys want to check out the live stream of our challenge, us running it and making some bullshit talk while we did it, definitely go check it out. It's the most recent live stream on the channel. But nonetheless, this is how you're going to unlock this secret character. He is an awesome looking secret character with the exclusion of his head mask. I don't like the way that looks, but you can see that he's got some wires going down his arms and some like attachments on his hand. They look really cool in game. So it's a really, really cool secret character. They gave us a new character this time, which is absolutely ridiculously awesome that they, they listened to the community and didn't give us reskins again. Nonetheless, let's go back down to it. So it's called the answer is the category. I'm going to go through each one and I will show you or have links down in the description to every challenge that is difficult to do. And then I'm going to show you some footage of us unlocking the last one at the very end and how we did it. So first off, we got crushed them quickly. It says responded to a bad situation swiftly and effectively. And then the, the hints that they originally gave you is go, go, go. Honestly, that one's very easy. That one is survive 20 waves in under 25 minutes. So we did it just with a three player game, pushed rounds, opened up a couple doors, and we're really close to tight on our time. But basically, you could do it just by staying in the spawn, opening up one, maybe two doors, maybe in the apartments, sitting in the apartments, grabbing some guns. It's really not hard. Free Fire Mark II makes it a lot easier. So just hang out, rush it down, knock it down, and you'll be able to get that one knocked out pretty quickly. The next challenge is hard shutdown, which was a difficult one, and it's probably the most difficult one so far that we've solved out of all these challenges. And I have a link down in the description to that challenge. It is the boss fight and holy straight completed in under 34 minutes. So we thought it was 33 minutes. So the guide's gonna say 33 minutes on it, but it has been proven that it's 34 minutes or under, which is pretty awesome. So you guys just have to beat the boss and do the entire Easter egg in under 34 minutes. I have a guide on my channel for that. Also in the description of that guide, there is the Morse code, 10 different possible Morse codes, which are the most that I have at the moment. I'll be updating that guide as often as we find new Morse codes, so that way you guys can have an easy cheat sheet and don't have to listen to Morse code at all, because if you have to listen to Morse code, it's gonna slow you down a couple of minutes most of the time in most teams. So I have an easy cheat sheet of you can just go put your pinpoint the different combinations that I have on the map and it makes it really really easy it's copyright free so if you guys want to use it on your videos if you guys want to post it anywhere on social media whatever share it as much as you want i wanted to help the community out by making that and not have it drag anyone down if you guys do want to credit 100 percent totally feel free to but not required i'm not trying to get the credit from it i'm not worried about that next challenge we have is some ground rules first so we actually got this one just a couple days after the DLC was figured out, my team ran the boss fight and we did it with no perks. And that's what this one is. So it's beat the boss with no perks. You can't purchase perks the entire map time, the entire run you're doing it. You can grab anything else, pack a punch, wonder weapons. You can do any other thing you want, mystery box, any melee weapon, just no perks. And you're going to unlock that challenge. It's honestly really easy um, bringing shell shocks to the boss fight. And that's going to make it a lot easier for you guys. The next one is set the stage, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. This was the new Showtime, so I'm going to talk about this one in just a second because this last one is really easy. So first off, we'll go to target practice. Target practice is cleared the area with deadly precision down the sights. So I don't think I put a video up on my channel, but this one is very easy. You just jump in a game. Just do it solo if you want to have an easier time. Grab that car 98 that's in the spawn room right over by the way up to the apartments. Buy that right off the bat and get headshots for three straight rounds. One, two, and three. As soon as you complete round three, you're going to have that one knocked out. Give me just a second. We're going to load up the gameplay here of what we did for set the stage, showtime, and taking too much enjoyment in this which is a very easy challenge to do. We just did it three players, our first attempt, and had no problem. I'm gonna explain what we did, what I think the exact way of doing the challenge is, and we'll be right there. All right, so what we ended up doing here is we stood on the front part of the stage. So behind or in front of the curtain, whatever way you're thinking about it, on the stage for 15 rounds. We got our challenge pop up after, I wanna say 13 rounds, 
so it might be kill based, but just hop in a three or four player game, bring some 1911s, pack a punch him real quick before round five, maybe take a double points or so, nuke like we did, and just spam it out. Don't spam them too often. Use your free fires after the round 15 and up mark. You're gonna have an easy, easy time. If this video was educational to you guys and you guys enjoyed it, definitely drop a like. It's very much appreciated. Put a lot of hard work into getting these characters and putting out the challenge guides and all of these information for you guys. So subscribe if you guys are new and love the content here on the channel. Even if you don't love it and only like it, definitely subscribe. It's worth your time and it's free. The best parts. All right, this has been Unpunk. I hope this again helped you guys out and we'll see you real soon.